Hi and welcome to another episode of the Hybrid Mixing Series. So today I want to talk a little bit about the auxiliary sense and what the main purpose is actually for that coming up. So if you have a console with auxiliary sense, um, which most obviously all of them have, um, the main purpose of them are two things mainly. One is to use them for effects, for output effects units. And the second thing is to use them for monitoring. So let's talk a little bit about the first purpose of them to use them with hardware effects. Um, I have four different of them, which you have probably seen in one of my other videos. And I really like them. Um, first of all, I think they sound quite good. And secondly, they don't charge any CPU because as they are output effects, um, they are not connected to any kind of way um, to the computer. Um, of course, I also use in-the-box effects together. I just bring them on a fader on the console. Um, but um, with the output effects, um, you can make quite easily and very fast um, reverbs. For example, if you're recording, you can dial in a little bit of reverb um, on the recording channel for the singer um, to make him or her a little bit more comfortable when singing. And I also, of course, use them while mixing. Um, so I use the reverbs, the echoes, um, for example, a little bit of slap delay sometimes, which you're going to hear in a minute. And um, the routing is very simple, actually. I have on the um, auxiliary 4 up to auxiliary um, 8, so the last one, um, all the hardware effects inserted. And you just simply use the auxiliary master. So let's say, for example, on the auxiliary number four, I have the auxiliary uh, number four master output going into one of the um, hardware effects. In that case, the Elise is MIDI verb, so it goes into the input. Um, mono, um, this console has just a mono send, which is no big deal. Um, back in the day, um, quite a lot of things were uh, mono, but they come back in stereo, so it comes out of the um, Alesis, for example, in stereo, and it goes back, and I bring just back on two separate faders, um, panned hard left and right for um, the stereo image. And the cool thing is that I have him on the channel is I can use also the EQ, it's for example, a low cut, or I can bring in a little bit more top end of a reverb if I want to have it a little bit more sparkling and lush sounding. Or if I want to have a mellow sounding reverb, I just can bring up the um, low end a little bit, for example. Um, and dial back the top end. So you can do quite a lot of things with that and really sit them very well in the mix. So for example, let's play the song here. And let's bring in the MIDI verb just for the vocals. Take me down in my necklaces and gown. Wanna play a lot tonight. Take me then down. Another reverb would be Lexicon. Try to slap back. Or a um, TC reverb. And I can use them very quickly, for example, also on the, uh, let's say, on the electric guitars. So you can use um, different combinations of reverbs. I really like to do that. Um, room reverbs, long reverbs, shorter ones, and just use them a little bit. And the cool thing is, as they are connected always to the console, I can very quickly dial them in. Change, of course, the preset um, if I want to use another reverb or something like that. But they mainly um, stay the same. For example, on the leases, um, I have a room reverb, the warm room. On ATC, I have a slapback delay always and also a um, long reverb and on the lexicon a kind of like a um, darker sounding reverb <clears throat> and you can play around um, with the mix of them and it, it's very quickly of course you can do is in the box with plugins um, but i really like the way to use the knobs here the physical uh, knobs and just style them in and that's basically what you can do with the auxiliary sense for the hardware effects units 
So in the second purpose, um, at least what I do is I use it for monitoring. So I have the first um, three auxiliary sounds for monitoring. So if I have a singer um, or a guitar player or something like that, I can give him or her her dedicated um, headphone mix. And basically what you do is quite the same as with the hardware effects you use, for example, on the auxiliary one here. Let's say we want to use that for a monitoring. Um, you use the auxiliary one master output on the back of the console and you go into the headphone amp. So let's say on the channel one on the headphone amp and that goes to his or her headphone. And you can give them then the um, very specific um, headphone mix. And to show you that, I have connected the cable, so a return cable, um, not on the headphones, but back into the computer so you can hear what I'm doing. Um, of course, it is mono because, as I said in the beginning, um, this console has just mono sense, which is no big deal for monitoring when recording. Um, and it sounds like that then. So now you can hear nothing. So let's bring in the um, different elements. Kick. Get the snare, um, then we got the overheads and the room sound. Of course, you want to hear the bass. If you have a bass player, you want to give him a little bit more bass signal or less, depending. Um, then we got the electric guitars. And let's say we have a um, lead vocal singer, so let's give her a little bit more of a voice. So you can dial it, of course, back. And that's basically it, what you can do with the monitor mix. So very quickly give um, each one a specific mix. And of course, this goes the same if you have another um, singer or a guitar player or something like that. And you can use, for example, the auxiliary channel stew, connect the output of the master auxiliary two to a second channel of the headphone amp. And you can perform another mix um, just for um, the specific headphones of the player, all right? So I hope that I could give you with this quick overview um, a good example how this actually works. At least this is the way I do it here with the console and I like it quite a lot. Um, very easy to have physical faders and to very quick um, to dial in some signals. And yeah, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions just leave in the comments below and if you're interested in other videos of this hybrid mixing series I have it on my channel I put a link in the description below where you can see um, for example the part one and so forth so I have these series in there and thanks for watching as always and happy recordings and mixing and see you in the next video